Sonic X Comic Issue 18 We start out seeing Rouge try to steal a rare gem at a museum, and the title acts as if she never does this. She uses perfume to reveal the laser grid to get past it, and also uses a lipstick thing, stealing the gem. However, security cameras caught her, and you'd think Rouge would've been smart enough to do something about them before even trying the theft, like spraying the cameras with something. Westwood says that one of the things used for the theft was a gun lipstick laser, which Rouge was written to leave behind at the scene like an idiot, purely for the sake of having this plot. She wouldn't be this obvious. What, did she get caught on purpose? The president orders Topaz to take Rouge into custody until they can sort this whole mess out. This is realistic, but also off-putting. I much preferred Sonic F's idea where the president granted Rouge immunity to all gem-related thefts, because that's the only way she could get away with still being a jewel thief and thus still having a major part of her actual character as a part of her character, while also being a gun agent. That's gotta be how it is in the games. But instead, they're making such a big deal out of Rouge stealing jewels, and I... This... I don't like this, even though... Yeah, yeah, it's it's bad, but... Well, who can... Hey, this, is supposed, this is supposed to be who Rouge is. You'd think that she'd be doing this every day. Then Rouge tells Knuckles she's been set up, and she fights with him because she wants Master Emerald, knocking him out because she kind of caught him by surprise after blathering at him. You'd think Knuckles would be much more competent at guarding the Master Emerald, but this is modern Knuckles, not actually good Knuckles. Knuckles tells Sonic about it, and Westwood wants to draw Rouge out of hiding by coming up with a story to make her show up. He announces an exhibit, the world's largest Chaos Emerald, and Sonic, Knuckles, Topaz, and Westwood, who wasn't fired after last arc for some reason, wait for someone to fall for the trap that night. Sonic's genre savvy, saying that Eggman might fall for the trap too. Westwood wonders if Rouge and Eggman were in this together, and Knuckles says Rouge would never work for Eggman, even though she did in SA2, spy or not. And then Rouge shows up and tells Knuckles in confusion that she doesn't have the Master Emerald. I guess Eggman made an infiltrator of her to frame her. Why did he frame her and not Sonic? This would be an awesome idea, but it doesn't make up for the bad writing of the story overall. I mean, really? Rouge says she doesn't have to knock someone out to get what she wants, and she and Knuckles fall on Sonic. Westwood captures all three of them and says all three for the price of one, being satisfied even though he caught Sonic too. Westwood says he'll get a promotion if he proves all Mobians are against the human race. And Rouge uses a gadget from Gun to break out of the net. Knuckles punches through a wall to damage it, and they meet the Rouge Infiltrator. Eggman presses a button to lift off, planning to make off with the Chaos Emeralds while the heroes are distracted, using a machine with a claw. Rouge says she'll deal with the Infiltrator, and Sonic and Knuckles dodge some lasers. And Knuckles says the chest plate is heavily armed, so Sonic assumes there's something important in there that they should smash. Westwood shoots recklessly, not caring whether he hits the real Rouge, and the fake Rouge gets dropped on him. Sonic and Knuckles damage the machine until they find the Master Emerald in it, and Eggman flies away on his Eggmobile. So Knuckles lost the Master Emerald twice. Twice! And he's still too stubborn to realize that the Emerald should get a better Guardian than Hiding Place. That he should guard it in a giant mecha, or use a giant robot to do it, and he'd get better results that way. It's smart of Eggman to try to steal the Master Emerald a lot instead of forgetting it exists, like in the games, but it's always to the detriment of Knuckles' character. It makes Knuckles look completely discredited as a guardian to fail this much. One person can't guard that kind of thing from Eggman. So, because of the Infiltrator, Rouge's name is cleared, and the President tells her she can keep the giant Chaos Cubic Zirconium as a thank you. This issue was by Joe Edkin. Huh. And it acts as if Rouge would never steal jewels, and only a fake Rouge would do that. Of course, the story was too gutless to actually have Rouge go rogue, and not even for more than one issue. Eggman was smart to make a fake Rouge, but it's very contrived that she's the first person he would think to make an infiltrator of. If he has that kind of technology, it should be Sonic he makes a robot of first. And he'll really be an idiot if he never tries that plan. 
I'd like it better if it was implied that Rouge did regularly steal jewels and was just smart enough to deal with the security cameras to avoid getting caught, but I'd like it the best that this Rouge getting a legal trouble problem didn't even happen. Especially not because of jewels. Because I like the idea that Gun lets her steal jewels so she has a reason to work for them a lot better. It makes Gun still corrupt, and so that's more interesting instead of them being pure good. I mean, what do they care if she steals jewels? She's not gonna do anything evil with them, like power giant machines. When I think of Rouge, the first thing I always think of is Jewel Thief, who likes to steal jewels. If that's not what she's ever doing, who is she? Why have her as just another gun agent? She can fly, well, so can Tails. She can use gadgets, but so could Tails or Chuck or anyone, really. Her quirk is that she's a jewel thief with no morality. She has a little, though, enough to be a morality chain to Shadow, but she's not even hanging around with Shadow yet. And her morality extends to saving the world, but she's still selfish enough to be a thief just fine. So why pretend she isn't one? That's lame. What's the point of having her around, then? Just to have someone to flirt with Knuckles and be totally unsuccessful about it because he's obsessed with guarding the Master Emerald and has done a terrible job. Every time Eggman has tried to take it, he succeeded. Knuckles doesn't have plots around him in a lot of continuities where he foils Eggman's plan to steal his emerald. Every time a thief tries to take it, they do to have a plot around it. Sonic and Tails should just step in and give him technology to guard it better. I was surprised this issue wasn't written by Ian Flynn. I thought they would have forced the comic to have just one writer from then on.